Are you stuck in the outdated world of generic one-size-fits-all messages, struggling to convert, confused daily as to why you aren't landing the clients that others are? In today's video, I'm gonna break down two tips that will 10x your conversions. That's not a joke, it's mathematically backed up. We'll get to that next. I didn't actually do great in math. I dropped out at 17 years old. Regardless, this math is sound. I've sent it to my quant guy. It passes even his examination. Without further ado, let's waste no time and let's get cracking. Before we get started, some facts real quick. Studies show that personal Personalized email campaigns have 29% higher conversions and even a 41% higher click-through rate than a traditional approach. So what is a traditional approach? A volume-based strategy. You as a marketer are saying, okay, I have an offer. I want to get this offer in front of as many people as possible. I'm essentially going to spam my offer off to a big volume of potential candidates. A thousand, two thousand. Maybe you're using modern day email marketing tactics like Apollo, where you get your leads from Apollo, you clean them up. Then you use instantly to mass outreach to a bunch of clients at a time. Cool. Yeah, that's a volume approach, but a volume approach is limited and it's anything less than optimized. Different people have different needs and that's why a personalized outreach strategy is almost always a more effective way to approach clients. With the two strategies I'm about to teach you today, we will take you from closing one out of every hundred people to one out of every 10. Closing one person out of a hundred is a 1% conversion rate. Closing one person out of 10 is a 10% conversion rate. We're literally about to 10x your conversions if, and I will say if, you pay attention. Because a lot of people don't. Tip number one, we're going to be talking about personalizing your outreach with a Loom video. Loom is a free extension for Google Chrome. Anyone can go get it. And it enables you to send very easy screen recordings of whatever you're looking at. A 45 second to one minute Loom video and loose pitch where you poke the client on pain points and present the offer like it's exclusively for them will result in a massive increase in conversions based on a simple principle of just psychology. People don't want to be spammed. If you send 100 messages to people and the subject is hijack and the rest of it is just a random copy paste message, it goes by the wayside. They can ignore it very easily. Now flip the script. Say you're trying to land a YouTuber as a client. You've done a screen recording Loom video of their YouTube channel. You've poked them on a couple pain points that you've identified in them specifically. And by the way, this might be the same script you roll across a hundred different people, but simply the addition of showing your face in the bottom corner, their YouTube channel on the screen, their brand page, their company's website, whatever the case may be. Remember, we're just using a YouTuber as an example here. The fact that they can see you auditing their actual business will will put you in a crazy, crazy, crazy position compared to the people who are literally just trying to communicate their value through a massive paragraph of text. So if someone hits me up and says, hey, Jack, we want to be your video editor, I will ignore that instantly. First off, I only hire in VP Plus, Video Production Plus, my private members community, you should be joining. So first, I would never hire them. But even if I was in the position to hire them, a basic level outreach would never penetrate. Now, say I loaded up their email, there was a video, I clicked the video, I could clearly see them in the face cam, then I could see my YouTube channel on their screen. They were saying something along the lines of, Jack, we love your channel. Channel. We see you're crushing long form content, but you're just not doing any short form content. What's the reason for that, Jack? Then they load up another tab and say, yo, this is another client we're working with right now. We're taking their long form content. We're making it into short form. It would be no additional time on your behalf. We just take your long form, turn it into short form. This is what it looks like for another client. Boom. It's a mini presentation. And don't chew their ear off. Keep it short and sweet. 45 seconds to one minute. Pitch them and poke them on some pain points. I guarantee you increase your conversions and people just feel better about the outreach. It now feels as though you have an exclusive strategy for them. And again, like it could literally be the same 45 second to one minute script you roll out across everybody else, but it just feels more personal. It feels realer and it feels as though you've actually spotted real intrinsic value for them and them only. First off, even if you're an introvert, I would advise you to adopt extroverted strategies. I'll actually break down something right now. Even though I'm a big personality in front of the camera, etc., I would actually describe myself as an introvert. Introverts recharge when they're by themselves. Extroverts recharge around other people. I definitely don't recharge around other people. I enjoy chilling on my bed, watching a movie. That's where I recharge. Regardless of that, you might describe me as an extrovert. The reason is because this world doesn't reward the person who sits in their bedroom and doesn't get out there and doesn't put themselves in the line of fire. The world rewards individuals who adopt extroverted traits, aggressive action forward, a vision of where you want to go. And a lot of the time, the people who adopt those traits might not even be a purebred extrovert. They're an introvert who simply has identified the reality of the marketplace and they have adopted more extroverted tactics. But regardless of that, let's say you heard my spiel there and you say, Jack, I don't care. I'm not an extrovert. I don't want to do these videos. Don't worry. We've got a tip for you as well. Don't click off the video. Before we continue with the video, guys, I want to make sure you're aware that we just dropped our biggest update yet for Video Production Plus. The VP 
Plus Wiki has officially been rolled out. Content has been organized like never before. Finally, we take you directly to the assets that are going to provide the most value to you, whether it be landing more clients and income, improving your editing skills, networking and becoming part of a team, or even build a team of editors and scale your video production business into an agency. We've got you covered. Massive case studies are being built out here for the success stories that we're seeing inside VP Plus. Take what's working for them. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. We've also got all of our video editing assets and courses organized here perfectly. We've got our Start Freelancing Masterclass, which is two hours long, our full-time freelancers, an hour and a half, our Outreach Masterclass, four and a half hours of pure value, a thousand plus digital assets, all of the other benefits that come with Video Production Plus, and most importantly, a 350 plus member community to help you out, give you feedback, and essentially encourage you on this fantastic journey. Link down below or go to videoproduction.plus and I'll see you there. What that tip is, is documenting pain points in a strategic way. So is it a better idea to include everything in your email, aka overloading them with information? Or how about this? What about you tweak the strategy? Instead of putting the core pain points that you're pitching them on, take that out of the body of the email, make the body of the email short and sweet, and include that in a document that's attached to the email. This plays massively on human psychology and their genuine curiosity and intrigue to now open the file. It might have the exact same information that would have been in the email. You literally copy paste it, put it in a document, attach the document, took it out of the email. And that one extra layer of having them click a document, opening it and seeing like a nicely formatted bullet point list of specific value you're going to provide to them. It improves the quality of the outreach. And it feels again, like there's more meat to sink their teeth into. And it feels like more of a clever, substantial outreach with real substance behind it. The problem with cold outreach is just that it's in the word. It's cold. The objective of outreach to clients is to approach them with the warmest possible outreach that you can have. Two core things you can do to massively improve the warmth of that. An amazing tactic is personalization, whether that be a Loom video or a document pinpointing exact value that you found for them. It might be the same document you send to everybody, but that little step right there will go a lot further in communicating that you haven't just spammed this off to a thousand people. People want to feel special. They don't feel special when they can tell you've sent it to a thousand people and improving your outreach with a personalization tactic like this will go a long way. To summarize, you could send a hundred basic cold outreaches and you'd be lucky to close one person. If you send 10 highly personalized, well-crafted outreaches, we're seeing this in VP plus that you'll close one. One conversion out of a hundred is a 1% conversion rate. One conversion out of 10 is a 10% conversion rate. Following these strategies, you were just able to 10 X your conversion rate by putting a little bit more time, effort, and preparation into the approaches that you're doing. That right there is the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed, I want to encourage you to join Video Production Plus, my private members community. We're about to hit 500 members. We're about 420 right now. I'm honoring free calls for everybody that joins before 500 members. That's right. I'm doing free calls for anybody in my community at 500. I have to stop doing free calls because there's too many people booking my schedule. I don't even have time to go for a walk. I got too many calls. I love it. It's all good. We have to stop the free calls at 500. Anybody that joins between now and 500, I'm going to honor a free call for you. If you like the sound of that, get inside VP Plus. We're also putting the price up at 500 members. If you join now, you'll lock your price in for life. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed, I want to direct you to watch this video. This is going to be very powerful for you. And it's a perfect continuation from the topics we've talked about here. I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Three, two, one. See you there.